hey what's up guys welcome to another video by Andrew place and in this video I'm gonna show you how can you flash the stock firmware marshmallow or nougat uh, on Moto G4 plus see uh, like the purpose of this video is to show you guys how to basically do that and tell you about some bug fixes as well like most of uh, like one guy complained to me about that he used dirty unicorn roam and uh, the fingerprint sensor was not working so the po the possible reason it happened with me too is that he was using a uh, nougat stock uh, the nougat custom roam and he then switched to marshmallow custom roam which will create problems so like if you wanted to uh, try any custom roam you need to flash the stock firmware first like if you want to try the marshmallow custom roam you need to flash the marshmallow this one the marshmallow stock roam first after that you can try marshmallow custom roam same way if you want to try nougat custom roam you need to flash the nougat stock firmware first so let me just show you how to do that uh, see if you if you guys don't have any idea what the hell I'm talking about here just go and check the video in description how to unlock bootloader and uh, flash TWRP recovery for this uh, this sole purpose you need to unlock your bootloader after that you can do this so what you're gonna do is like just watch that video install the moto drivers and uh, download the following files this uh, this this is the nougat uh, the nougat stock firmware and this is the uh, marshmallow stock firmware and download this minimal adb and fastboot what are you gonna do and uh, please download the commands as well these are the commands to flash your uh, the stock room so just put your phone in bootloader mode and connect it to your PC make sure the moto drivers are installed Be without it you will not be able to flash it now let me just show you okay so hey guys like uh, see my phone is connected to my PC and what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm gonna press the volume button uh, the down volume button and the lock button together to uh, like to start the bootloader mode there we go we are in the bootloader mode now guys please make sure the moto drivers are installed without it you cannot flash it uh, if you still don't know what the hell I'm talking about please watch my video on how to unlock bootloader now uh, now let's proceed to the next step see now uh, I have put my phone in bootloader mode the drivers are perfectly installed and plus uh, I have the minimal ADB and fastboot and my phone is connected to my PC now what I'm gonna do is uh, first I'm gonna select which ROM stock ROM I wanna flash let's just select the the Nougat ROM okay this is the Nougat stock ROM you'll uh, when, when you download it will be in the zip file extract it and copy all this all this shit to the uh, minimal uh, minimal ADB and fastboot folder paste right here and if it asks for replacing any items please replace it and uh, see there's a warning when you flash the stock firmware you'll get that unlock bootloader warning again but don't worry you can watch my video on how to remove that warning it's really really simple now once it's copied uh, copy all this command okay now let we're gonna just wait for it to copy come on come on hurry up yeah see there you are uh, there you see it's asking to replace please replace uh, copy and replace copy and replace and like yeah I've uh, no just copy and replace you can flash the logo bin later now what you're gonna do is uh, press shift plus right click to open a command prompt you see this option here open command window here click this option now once you paste the command the flashing process will start automatically if you have any data please back up before it and uh, like if you have any questions do we need to delete the existing room no the flashing process will delete your existing room and flash the no good stock room so now just paste it you see it's the process has started it might take like five minutes maximum uh, can't take more so let's just skip this there you go guys the stock uh, no good room is flashed right now flashed and uh, now it's it's written fast boot re uh, fast boot 
reboot when you press the enter key your phone will automatically reboot and uh, then you'll notice the change that you are in no good stockroom right now now let me just give you a preview okay guys so like see when i press the enter key oh like like just let me just like the yeah when i just press the enter key my phone will reboot and now you see the change you i remember i told you like you're gonna see the unlock bootloader warning again but don't worry you can watch my video on how to fix this shit and it's really really easy uh, it might vibrate for one or two times and there you see the nougat stock room is booting up it will not take time as it is a stock room so okay let me just show you the complete process Well, that's quite an interesting intro, isn't it? There you go. Now, the Nougat stock room is booted up. So I'll just skip all this crap. Uh, this. So it does need something. Okay, skip all this shit. Wait, I'll just get you to the preview. There you are, guys. It's the stock Nougat room. Let's just see about phone you see this android version no good so in the same way you can flash the marshmallow rom but it's of no use as when you flash the marshmallow rom you uh, like you can run it if you want but it will show that the update is available so just flash the marshmallow rom if you want to fix any bug with the custom rom so remember what i said like if you're using a custom rom marshmallow base first flash the marshmallow stock rom then use the marshmallow custom rom it will fix all the bugs so thanks for watching guys uh, i hope this works for you if it does please like my video i really need your support guys thanks for watching again see you in the next video guys peace out